What's up you guys, welcome to another weekend video. Hopefully you guys like these videos, and if not, uh, I, I'm sorry. Anyways, I went out and bought a fish tank and I thought, you know what, I'd share it with you guys, so let me show you. Uh, so here's the fish tank here. It's just a normal fish tank, I guess, for now. Uh, yeah, but hopefully when I finish building it, it'll be a lot better. And also over here, you have uh, the stand that the fish tank is gonna go on. Uh, I think it's like a wood stand. We, we kind of seen it, I saw it in the store and picked it up, so hopefully it's the one that I saw. Uh, but yeah, so and it comes with like a lot of other things. So you'd be amazed in how many things you actually need for the fish tank. So right here is like the filter system. So you can actually get the tank like cleaned up um, on its own. You do have to like replace 20% of the water every so often, uh, but hopefully that will get rid of all like the, the nastiness that happens inside of a fish tank. And the other things that you have to get is, uh, yeah, so here's a glass um, stuff. You can't see it yet because it's still in the box, but this glass stuff goes on top of the fish tank. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Hopefully uh, I'll film again when I have it built. And then this is the, the light for it. So this is like the generic white fluorescent tube bulbs that go in it and it's 36 inches long. I was going to pick up these other lights. They're like LED lights. There was one for like 249 bucks. I'm like, holy crap. But uh, I was actually going to get it. Uh, but then I saw it in real like test demo in the store and it was so like, it was so dim, it wasn't that bright. So then he showed me this other one. I'm like, holy crap, I love this one. How much is it? I think it was like 500 bucks. I'm like, I was considering it, but I was like, ah, no. I, uh, I took the cheap route, so yeah, I got this. Hopefully it's still pretty good. So I'm gonna set it up right now and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so we have the tank uh, all set up. You guys can see right here, me and my girlfriend set it up. And right now we're just putting the gravel inside the tank. So I had to, you have to rinse out the gravel before you put it in the tank. Uh, so I had it just rinsing in this garbage pail and it had this little thing right here. I just kind of just scoop it and then just put it in the tank. It's probably gonna take a long time to do it, but I guess I have all night to do this. It's a lot of freaking scooping. Uh, it's about 50 pounds of gravel right now. And, but yeah, what do you guys think? Take a look at the tank, go ahead. So uh, we built the base. Uh, let's move that over. So here's like the door of the base and there's like a shelving unit inside of it. I don't know how good you guys can see that. But yeah, you put all like the fish food and all that kind of stuff inside of it. So I'm not really sure what kind of food and stuff I want inside the tank, but I'm sure uh, I'll probably just go and check it out, maybe like a starfish or something. Okay, so everything's pretty much set up. I was just going over the pump right here and I picked up this new pump. Uh, I showed you guys in the previous video, I'm pretty sure. It's the uh, Classic 350 pump and it's a lot harder than I thought it was to, to set up. I asked the guy at the store, is it easy to set up? Because I had a feeling it was gonna be difficult. He said, no, one tube goes in and one tube goes out, done. But it's, it was actually hard. Uh, I had to watch a YouTube video to find out how to set it up. But I had to connect like all these like different chambers and stuff and like it's it's a little confusing but I finally learned how to use it now because you have to connect two sides which disconnects uh, the female and the male and then they connect if you want to go into the tube. And I had to learn how to like change the valve, how to close it, open it. These extra tubes I put it into the tank and yeah, they're, 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 it was a little bit difficult because the instructions was really stupid. It wasn't even in English. So yeah, I watched a YouTube video on how to do it. So now it is time to fill the tank. I think this is what, 55 gallon? Is it 55 gallon? 65. 65 gallon tank. And I'm gonna be using this bowl. So, and yeah, at the store this guy offered like, it's like a hundred bucks for this like pump thing and you get like a hose and it goes right to your tank. And it's supposed to be like fast and easy to do. I'm like, you know what? Do you not look at me right now? I'm brown. I'm gonna try to save money. So this right here is me saving money. It's gonna be, I'm thinking what, 50 trips? If this is 55, 60 gallons, 55 gallons? 65, 65 why do I forget that? 65 gallons. So, well, and this is not a gallon. So this is more than 65 trips. This is, oh my God, this is probably like 300 trips. Holy crap, not even close. I'm gonna show you guys how far I've come so far. Uh, I've gone, me and my girlfriend's gone back and forth many, many times now. And yeah, this is like, tell me if it even moves. Did it move? Why, why is there floating rocks right now? What is that? It's like fake rocks. What is that? Why is there fake rocks? Okay, well, I'm gonna put it back, but at the end, I'm gonna take it out. That's kind of gross. Yeah, so we are what? A fifth, a third, a fourth, a quarter, a quarter way there. Another 200, 300 trips, so yeah. Okay, so we finally did it. The fish tank is put together. Let me show you guys. So here's the tank. I set up the lights for it. I don't know how good you guys can see it. I'll show you, uh, you can kind of see it. But yeah, and then I built on these little glow, uh, door thingies uh, for the fish tank. So you can just like open and close it when you want to feed the fish. And yeah, this is the big light. Uh, why did it turn off? Okay, yeah, it randomly turned off. But yeah, so, and we also installed the pump. We finally figured out how to do it. And it's a little bit scary doing it because you can see these like big ass tubes right here. 
comes out of the pump. I accidentally unhooked this tube because I thought, you know, like it's not working, but there's so much water in it. And can you imagine if uh, all this water just comes pouring out onto the condo floor? I would be so damn pissed. But honestly, that's almost what happened. I was like, no. And oh, I've got to fix my camera. Whoa, what's happening right now? Okay, yeah, that would have been so pissed. Honestly, if the whole thing just poured down to the floor, I don't know if I would like start crying or like, do I pick up my camera and film the whole thing because there's like nothing I can do about it. Okay, I'll show you guys when it's like all set up and all done. It's almost done, almost. So we have to let, let the water set for like 24, 48 hours just so the oxygen is, uh, is out of the water and then we start buying fish. And yeah, but anyways, right now it's uh, midnight. It took us forever to do this and I'm so tired, but I gotta hit the gym still. So you know what? Why don't you guys come with me to the gym? Have you have you guys ever been there with me? Let's go, come on. Hey, what's up you guys? So right now we are in the gym. So usually before I work out, I do cardio. So I'm jumping on the treadmill for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I don't know how good you guys can hear me right now because I'm running on a treadmill. So I usually do this for about 10, 15 minutes. Obviously I'm not going the fastest, but it's just to get the heart going a bit, get the blood pumping throughout the muscles. Because when you get the blood flowing, uh, you're able to make more gains faster. Okay, so today is my day two workout, which means I do biceps and back workouts. So let's get right to it. So usually for the bicep day, I go light at the first set just to get everything all warmed up. So uh, let's do it. Okay, so, and I usually do this as well. It just gets my arm all stretched out and gets myself ready to lift a lot heavier weights. So, okay, so today I'm probably just curling 40s for a bicep curl, and I'm just gonna do it uh, one arm at a time. And the sets I usually do is six to eight, uh, three, sorry, six to eight reps, three sets. Totally lost count there, no idea how many I did. I'm sure you guys will count it out. Okay, so right now I'm on my third and final set for this. Uh, so let's grab the 40s again and let's count it out this time. So I'll probably hit about seven. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Totally lost count again. Oh my god. And now since it's the third set, what I usually like to do is something that's called a drop set. So if I'm doing 40 pounds on the first set, I grab a little bit lighter and I keep going. Uh, I pretty much want to fatigue the muscles. So it's still able to lift. So I want to keep going. And this, I usually just go until you can't go anymore. Which is probably around seven or eight. I don't even know how much I was. So let's do a third drop set. These are about 12 pounds, but when you get to the third set, after like 60, after like 20, 20 reps or something like that, oh man, it gets so damn heavy. Like I bet you if I just grab like just the air right now, it's hard. It's hard to do it. Okay, so the biceps, you can't just do one exercise. So what I'm doing is a bar now and two arms at a time. So let's do it. So again, I'm on my third set for the double arm bar. So I have one weight here and you guys can see another weight here. Uh, it's for my drop set. I love doing drop sets. It fatigues out the muscle and it just feels like you're getting more gain. So let's do it again, six to eight reps. And then you just go right into it before your muscles have any time to relax. You just get right into it again. You want to keep going. But when you're doing in between your sets, this is only 30 pounds, but it feels so heavy. Usually in between your sets, you take about 45 seconds to a minute of rest. But this, this is just drop set, so let's get into it right away. Oh, and it just burns. So right now I'm doing three sets. I'm going to take my 45 second to a minute rest 
and then I'm gonna do more biceps and also call mobile back. Okay, so now that the muscles are warmed up, it's time to go intense, okay? So this is the intense workout, and right now I'm off to the back. So it's chin up time. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, let's skip that. Okay, let's get real, okay. Seriously, no. Okay, it's bicep time, okay? So I'm gonna do more bicep curls. So I'm hooked up to the machine right here, and this machine, I honestly love it. Seven, and then switch. And then what I said before is I like to combo some stuff. So right now, I'm setting it up to do my back. So I'm changing the weight. So this is a back workout and it's comboing. I love comboing two muscles uh, at the same time. So you do it without rest. So it's just an extension and it really works out your back really good. And then without rest, you just keep going. You just keep going and keep going. You gotta bring the intensity up. So now I'm back to biceps. So you gotta switch it really quickly and just get right into it again. Six to eight reps. Uh, three sets. So this is set two. Okay, so that was the super set. Usually what I do now is about a minute to two minute rest, grab some water, but now it's off to real real chin-ups. I was, I was being stupid. But yeah, so let's do chin-ups. Uh, so your chin-ups, they work out your back. A lot of people say it's a lot of shoulder and stuff, but it's not. It's back. It's your lats. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do it. There's different ways of doing uh, chin-ups. Um, you can use these bars right here and just pull yourself up like this. <laughs> And there's these chin-ups. It's a little bit more difficult. You're using a little bit of shoulder, but it's all your lats. It's pure back, okay? So hang on to this, and what you do is you wanna pull yourself all the way up, come down, up, come down. I'm too tired to do six to seven of that, but usually I do this one first, I do three sets of that, and then I switch to this one over here. Ugh, all right, it's time to do more back workout. Ugh. I'm starting off really light for now. Warm it up. Pretty much with every set that I like to do, I start off with a pretty decent weight and I go higher and higher until I just can't do it anymore, but I'm still hitting that six to eight range. I'm on my third set. I've upped the weight. I think I started off at 70. Now I'm at about 120 pounds. Okay, so although it's really heavy, I still want to hit about eight of them. <sighs> <sighs> And when you're going and you're working out, you want to make sure when you pull, you flex it, hold it, and then let go. If you're pulling it and you can't get that flex, the weight is too heavy. You're not able to control the weight. Just lower the weight and trust me, you'll make some gains and you'll be up there. Okay, so off to the next back exercise. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty tired right now. And I just realized, like, is this a freaking vlog video or workout 101? Like, join me, I'll teach you how to work out. No, I'm just, I don't know, I just, I got bored, like, just doing the workouts. I thought I'd talk a little bit. I don't know, maybe you guys want to learn how to work out because you guys are interested in it. So maybe, yeah, maybe I just do the workouts on the weekend as well, ow, with the vlog videos. Okay, I'm just up in the weight now because I'm on my last set. I'm up to about 110. So remember, I still want to hit eight of them. It's going to be hard though. All right. the last one okay so I'm on the last back workout for the day and after this it's time to take some protein <sighs> and that's it that's the workout okay so I know right now is really late I think it's like it's almost one o'clock in the morning but I think they forgot to lock the hot tub so I'm gonna go check it out so it's supposed to be open only until 12 uh, until 6 a.m., like 12 midnight, it closes. Oh my God, it's open, let's go inside. Ah. If I drop you guys in the hot tub, I'm gonna be so pissed. All right, I'm gonna put you guys over here. Can you guys see the hot tub? Here, I gotta like angle you guys down a bit. Look at that hot tub, yeah. 
I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, so you guys are gonna see me get naked right now and go in the hot tub. Oh, it was so friggin' hot in there. I'm like so sweating right now. Oh, it's been a while since I've been inside of a hot tub. So right now I'm taking you guys into the dark where I'm gonna do all sorts of stuff to you guys. Oh, it's bright. Okay, so right now it's like just a big aerobics area, I guess. And yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys in here and I'll show you guys my skills when I was younger. I used to break dance. I'm gonna try to do something right now. So yeah, just, just give me just give me a moment, I'm cranking you guys down. Okay, so this brings me back to my day where I used to be in Foster and all these kids there were break dancers. So I'll show you guys a little something, okay? This is a thing called the six step. Woo! <laughs> and then uh, I guess I'll do like a little freeze. I learn to like bounce on my head. Woo! And then there's like side freezes I learned how to do. I don't, know, I don't know how good you guys can see it. You just jump into it, you go and you freeze. Oh, cramp, oh, oh, I guess, I guess I'm not as young as I used to be, but yeah, I, I stopped break dancing. I don't, I don't know why. I wonder if I can still do head spins. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try head spins. Although, I'm so damn tired right now. I just freaking worked out. <coughs> I jumped in a hot tub. Okay, so here's the mat. Let's see if I can do head spins still. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, I seriously thought the camera was like this way. I was like so dizzy. Okay, I, I suck. I was I was never able to do. I was never able. I can't even talk. Able to do head spins. Oh. But coming up in the studio, I'm trying to get my foster brothers down. Amazing break dancers. One of the best in Canada. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go like over there and just die. I'm taking like the next week off. Whew. Okay guys, so this is the ending of the weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm taking you guys around my life. Uh, some of you guys might be interested. Some of you guys are like, what the heck's going on right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm a male, so I'm going in the change room. So usually after the workout, I do... Oh, one last thing, okay. There's no naked people in here. I'm in, the, I'm in the change room. I usually go in the sauna, so you just have to like set the dial and you have to preset it for like 20 minutes for it to warm up. And then you put it as hot as you want it and I usually just do the max. Uh, and then yeah, let me take you inside the sauna. Hopefully it's not too hot because I don't want you guys melting. So here's the sauna right here. Uh, yeah, so I usually just come right here and I just melt myself away. All that extra weight just... And then I don't even know where all that extra weight goes. It's just... It just sweats up and just goes into the air and onto the next person. Okay, I'm so tired right now, I'm being so stupid. It's like, it's probably like two o'clock right now. I, I don't know the time, but I just wanna say thank you so much for watching the vlog videos. I hope you guys like them, oh my God. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday, normal news video. And yeah, thanks for watching.